R. Kelly's daughter accusing a singer of sexually abusing her as a child. That and more. Entertainment Talk starts right now. Let's get into it. Welcome, listeners, to another episode of the show. I am your host, Chris Talks. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Entertainment Talks. And today's episode is about R. Kelly's daughter, Buku Abi, accuses singer of sexually abusing her as a child. Ooh. Yes, let's give R. Kelly the dummy buzzer real quick. Can we do that before we start that? <laughs> we'll probably give it to him again later. But all right, listen, I'm going to let Sarah, my AI, report this story in a... Uh, as always, I'm going to give you my view and my opinion at the end. All right, Sarah, let's hit it. Thank you, Chris. One of our, Kelly, S. daughters has come out to accuse the convicted felon of sexually abusing her when she is just a child. Buku Abbey, 26, said in TVEI Streaming Network's two-episode documentary Karma, a daughter's journey that the disgraced 57-year-old singer had abused her when she was around eight or nine years old. She said she first reported his alleged misconduct to her mother in 2009, when she was around 10 years old. Kelly, full name, Robert Kelly, is currently serving a 31-year sentence at a medium-security federal prison in North Carolina after he was convicted in 2021 and 2022 of multiple child sexual abuse charges. Dailymail.com has reached out to his attorney for comment. He was my everything. For a long time, I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person that he would do something to me. Abby said of her father in the first episode of the documentary. Be a people. I was too scared to tell anybody. I was too scared to tell my mom. She admitted. Abby, who was born Joanne Kelly, declined to share details about the abuse she allegedly suffered at the hands of her father in the first episode, which premiered for streaming on Friday. However, she did say that prison was a well-suited place for her father to be. A conclusion she arrived at based on her personal experience with him. She spoke of the ways Kelly's alleged abuse completely altered the course of her life. Abby added that, one millisecond completely changed my whole life and changes who I was as a person and changed the sparkle I had and the light I used to carry. In the documentary, she makes it clear that her visitations with her father ended after she reported the alleged abuse to her mother. And she said her brother Robert and sister Ja also stopped going to see him. But to this day, she, still struggle, s, with it a lot. Abby revealed more details of her accusations in the second episode. I just remember waking up to him touching me. She recounted through tears. And I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of laid there. And I pretended to be asleep. The songstress said she told her mother Drea Kelly who is also featured in the documentary what had happened. And the two then filed a police complaint listing her as a Jane Doe. However. The delay between when the alleged abuse happened and when Abby told her mother may have scuttled their chances of getting justice. They couldn't prosecute him because I waited too long. So at that point in my life, I felt like I said something for nothing. She explained. Back to you, Chris. All right. Uh, wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Uh, draw my air on real quick so I get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the point of the show. I give you my view and my opinion on this particular topic. And my view and my opinion is simply this. Uh, I would say that uh, any, any, and I mean any pedophile needs to be buried under the jail. Wait, what? Anybody that commits any type of sexual assault on anybody whether they be male or female needs to be buried right under the jail period this period and that's my opinion now this woman uh r kelly's daughter uh uh who is i think that's her singing name her real name is like Jonah Kelly or something like that. But uh, anyway, uh, I think uh, this, I would tell any and every female or anybody who has uh, suffered any type of uh, 
uh, sexual molestation to report it immediately. To immediately report it. And not wait uh, to report it. Because this woman, apparently she waited too too long to where I guess it... it uh, it canceled out the, the statute of limitations, I guess. But uh, I could say this guy is a true, true scumbag. Bruh. For doing this. Can we give him the dummy buzzer? <laughs> for doing this to his daughter. Now, me as a parent, I, I don't want to get too personal, but I'll get personal for a quick second because uh, this, this particular uh, topic calls for it. But me as a parent, and I have a daughter... Me as a parent, um, if anybody touched my daughter, I don't, I don't know what, what I would do. Bruh. No idea. No idea. Let alone me doing that to my child, myself. Bruh. Like I, I, I can't picture it. I, I couldn't pick. I. In a thousand lifetimes, I could not picture me doing something like that to any one of my children or any one of my family let let alone my children any one of my family members to me that's just it's it's do we have the expression for that do we have an expression for it no but let me do it that let me do it myself It's disgusting to me. It's it's disgusting to mess with anybody that you that you're related to, or even to look at them in any type of sexual way. But uh, apparently, for R. Kelly, incest is uh, something to him. There is no boundaries to uh, what this what this man will do, or how far this man will go. Not only will he assault. Uh, minor children but he also will assault his own minor children Bruh. which is bugged out that's what i'm saying me as a parent i could not imagine it i could not imagine somebody doing that to my child let alone me doing it to my like Bruh. Like, bruh, that's just in my opinion, it's just so disgusting. Now, should this girl have waited so long? No, she shouldn't have waited so long. But, uh, just to say, and I'm not going to say it's in her defense, I just want to say to her, if uh, I had a chance to speak to, to sit down and speak to her face to face, I would tell her whether, uh, whether, uh, how do they say it? Uh, better, uh, uh, better than never. Sooner, better than later, or better than never. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 to me, I would just tell her it's. It doesn't matter what time that you said it. It's just the point that you said it and you let it out. Pedophiles and sexual abusers, they need to be aired out. Period. And I, I, I'm just keeping it real. Ed. They just need to be aired out. Period. It doesn't matter when. I, I would say sooner than later. That's the phrase I would look for. Sooner than later. I would look. I would say sooner than later. But for her to do it, uh, let's just give her a round of applause. Can we give her an applause real quick? Just for her to come out and say it. It doesn't matter uh, how long it took for her to say it. Just for her to come out and just say it to me. Uh is good enough in uh i would say much respect to her it, it, it's a shame that she has a, she had to go through and probably has to continue going through that type of trauma coming from her father you know what i'm saying which is like i mean yo bruh i mean that's crazy coming from a, your father i mean bruh come on but Ladies and gentlemen, especially those in the melanin community, uh, this tends to happen a lot in the melanin communities. Uh, a lot of our uh, melanin brothers and sisters tend to be sexually assaulted by 
no other than their family members. Bruh. Which I think is 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 just straight f-ed up. You know what I'm saying? It's straight f-ed up. It's hard that we live in a world where you can't really trust everybody around you. Where uh, I would say um, your family members are some of the closest people to you. I mean, these people they grew up with you. Some some of them grew up with you. Some of them watch you grow up. And for them to do something like that, it's it's, it's like, yo, what the f- is going through these people's minds? Bruh. But rest assured, uh, Miss Abuya or whatever, whatever, uh, you probably didn't report what happened, but your father is serving time and he is going to, and he is paying for the crime that he committed. It may have been uh, too late for you, but there's still other uh, other people who spoke out against him. He is paying for those crimes, and um, I'm 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 really sad that that happened to her. Like, I mean, I gotta just say, yo, what the? F- like, what's wrong with people? What is really really wrong with people? But people, I would say, keep an eye. I would say, keep an eye. On, on your kids. Keep an eye on your kids. I mean, I know most people, they're not expecting that from the father. You know what I'm saying? From the father, the, the parent of the child. Bruh. But they exist. So, R. Kelly, you are getting exactly uh, what you deserve into this woman. Again, uh, I feel uh, I, I'm sorry that you had to go through that and deal with that throughout your life and for any of my listeners who are dealing with that or know of somebody who is dealing with that okay anybody anybody that you know that is going through that okay they have uh um they have a hotline out there okay they have a hotline out there for uh, victims of sexual abuse and domestic violence. So if you know anybody who is dealing with sexual abuse or domestic violence and they are afraid to talk, you can call this number right quick. 1-800-942-6906. I think that's a national number, right? This is a national number, right? Okay, yes. So this is a national number. That number again is one 800 Nine four two six nine zero six. If you know anybody who is going through sexual abuse or domestic violence, you can call this number and you can report it anonymously. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let's let's yeah, we got to put that out there, man. We got to put that out there, man. We got to put that out there because this thing it happens too much in our country. It happens too much amongst us. Uh, us melanin people and it i don't want to get too deep but the reason why it happens a lot of times because a lot of our melanin men they grow up without fathers so if you're a father play your part you know what i'm saying but let's stay on topic this woman again i think they should ask the other kids they said that the brothers in uh the sister stopped going at the uh, the mother apparently um, stopped it. Is that correct? Am I correct? Yeah, the mother apparently stopped it and stuff like that. And to me, that was a good decision because if um, and I, I'm just I'm, I'm just speaking straight up. Even if like you have a kid or something. To the parents out there, to all my listeners who are parents, listen to your kids. If your kids say something, somebody did something or something like that, whether it's a lie, whether it's the truth or whatever, investigate it. Just investigate it. Just investigate it. Just take a peek. Take a mother peek real quick just to see. Because they could be lying. They could be telling the truth. You don't know. But... Take a peek, no matter what age they are. To me, the younger they are, the more truthful that they are. You understand what I'm saying? It, that's just my opinion. Message. 
No, I'm just keeping it real because what reason would they have to lie? Unless somebody is telling them to lie. Bruh. But you still you still investigate. You know what I'm saying? You see I mean, come on, Ed. You seen still you you seen uh what's what's this guy's name? Steve Wilkos. Wait, what? You seen Jerry. You know you you you, you know how I go. You know how I go. Bruh. Some some chicks be lying, but still investigated. Still investigated. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just me. Still investigated. And I think it's good. I think it was a very good choice that uh the siblings decided to stop seeing him and stop going to visit him. Anybody who does something like that is is not somebody that you would really want to be around. You know what I'm saying? So uh Kudos to them and applause to, uh, what's her name? Jonah Kelly. Applause to her. And I guess check out the documentary. The documentary that uh, she did. Do we have, uh, did we have the trailer? Uh, All right, you don't want to play it? Okay. But there's a trailer, I think, on YouTube of, um, R. Kelly's uh, daughter, I think it's called R. Kelly. The, what was it? R. Kelly's Karma, the the daughter's the daughter's journey. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. It's it's up there, Bruh. It's up there. Go check it out. Y'all can go check it out. It's on YouTube somewhere. Go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. But that's my view and that's my opinion on this particular topic. He should get buried under the jail for soon doing something like this. And to anybody, to any of my listeners, like I said, if you know somebody who's going through this, if they don't want to speak, you can be the voice for them. Sometimes some people are not strong enough to have their own voice. Sometimes your voice is even louder. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just, hey, I'm keeping it real. Message. And that's my view and that's my opinion on this particular pot topic. Hit Baby out here, man. I gotta go get my baby. <sighs> All right, listeners, if you like this content and want to hear more of it, y'all already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, feel free to leave a comment and share. Okay, y'all know what it is. You can check us out on all our social all our social media platforms. The listeners right there on your screen. So I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I so so appreciate that. Also. Stay blessed and not stressed. Until next episode, listeners, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.